Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right guys, the last two things that we have in the right side panel are the previous button and the reset button. Now we've gone over the reset button a million times. I mean, you guys know that, I hope you know by now that all this does is resets basically all of the settings on your image back to default. The shortcut for reset is Control Shift R or Command Shift R on a Mac. Now the previous button, what that does is actually takes the settings from the previous image and applies it to the next image. And the shortcut for that is actually Control alt v And let's do a little demonstration real fast to show you how it works. So let's go and pick an image, and we'll go back to our grid view by hitting G. Let's find kind of a good image that would work. Uh, we'll go to this image right here. Actually, let's go to, yeah, let's do that image. That's fine. So I'm going to hit D with this image selected. It's, it's file number 1-9. Go to the Develop module, and I'm going to hit Control one to expand my basic panel. And we're just going to make some adjustments here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we do. I just want to make something, adjustments that are going to look like they're noticeable. So we'll take contrast up a little bit. We'll adjust our blacks down. This again is not how I would typically adjust this image, but it works for this tutorial. We're going to take our whites down a little bit. Actually, that's too much. And we're going to take blacks up a little bit and then add a little more contrast just so we can see a nice little difference and we'll add a little bit of vibrance and we'll shift our color balance we'll take the white uh, the temperature down just a little bit it doesn't really matter what you guys do right now basically what is what I'm trying to say as long as you guys can tell the difference between this uh, and the original version so if I hit before the the backslash key we can see the before version and now we can see the after version there's a significant amount of difference that we can tell so that's good enough so what we're going to do now is we're going to hit the right arrow, or we can also click the image right next to this, uh, and then we're going to hit Previous. And what this is going to do is it's going to pull the settings from that previous photo and place it onto this one. So let's hit Previous, and you can do that by either clicking that button or hitting Control-Alt-V or Command-Alt-V on a Mac. So what that did was it copied over all the settings. Now, obviously, in this case, these aren't necessarily the right settings because, uh, well, number one, we didn't really produce this image first, the first image to be correct. Number two, these two images are in different scenes altogether. But what this is useful for is when you're moving from image to image that was created, that was shot in the exact same scene with the exact same camera settings, you can basically hit previous every single time and sync over the settings from the previous image. This makes it extremely quick to move from image to image and apply settings while going forward. Also, the images don't need to be right next to each other to hit previous or to use the previous setting. So if I click over on this monk and I hit control alt V, it's going to paste the settings from whatever previous image was selected. So the images don't necessarily need to be right next to each other. It's just going to pull the settings from that previous image. Now I'm going to hit control shift R on this image to reset it. I'm going to hit control shift R on this image to reset it and same thing on this image and it's command shift R on a Mac. All right, guys, so we're back to square one. We are done with our right side panel now, and now we can move on to the left panel, and soon we're going to get to actually working through all of our exercise files.